welders. Welcome to Weld.com. I'm Paul Brown and I'm going to be your host today. You might have seen a previous video we did on AC frequency and changing it on aluminum TIG welding. Well today we're going to try something a little different and that is AC frequency change on stick welding. And I'm really interested to see what the effects are. If it's similar to aluminum or if it's going to be completely different. Let's get cracking and set up our machine and do some welding. Okay, today we're going to be using the Miller Dynasty 280DX, which is both an AC and a DC machine, which is capable of changing the frequency of the AC arc. First of all, we're going to set it over to AC. Then we're going to put it over here to stick. And then we're going to turn it on right here. After that, we can come down here and change the frequency. Right now it's on 360 hertz. And with this little knob here, we can go all the way down to 20 hertz. Simple as that. Let's go do some welding. Today we're gonna to be using the Bowler 7018 Fox EV50 rod, 330 seconds diameter, with an AWS spec of A5.1. Okay, here's our 20 hertz weld. And you can look on the back here and see some heat telegraphing through. Notice that the bead is fairly wide here. Let's go weld at 120 hertz. Let's clean some of that slag off of there. This is our 120 hertz, and notice the bead isn't quite as wide as it was on the 20 hertz, and there's less telegraph of heat coming through the back side. Let's weld to 240 hertz and see how that looks. Clean some of that nasty slag off. This is our 240 hertz piece, and the bead is even narrower at this, same amperage, and even less heat telegraphing through the back. Let's go uh, weld to 360 hertz. Okay, this is our last one, our 360. Notice how narrow and ropey that bead looks. Same amperage as before, and very little, if any, heat transfer through the back. There are many factors that can affect your cutting, no matter which CNC equipment you're using. And our friends at Thermacut are here to help you troubleshoot. The most common problem that users have with CNC cutting tables is cutting speeds. How do you recognize that your cutting speed is too fast? Lag lines show that the torch is leading the plasma arc. You can also check from a right angle that the torch is perpendicular 90 degrees to the plate that's being cut. Next, you want to look at whether or not you're using improper settings. Using the wrong settings leads to shorter lifetime of cutting consumables, reduced speed of cutting process, poor cutting quality, undercut of the workpiece, larger piercing area, and higher amount of bottom dross. Another factor that can affect your cutting quality is using consumables that have exceeded their useful life. This can negatively affect the quality and it can cause issues when attempting to pierce metal. If you are experiencing quality issues, first check the entire set of consumables for signs of extended wear. And if the time has come for replacing those consumables, Thermacut is a go-to brand for aftermarket parts they give you the same quality as the OEM originals while saving you and your business money. So check them out. Let's look at the results of our welds. 
We have our 20 hertz bead over here. Notice how wide it is and kind of bumpy and sloppy. Over here is our 120 and it's much smoother and narrower. Our 240 over here gets even narrower. And when we get down to the end, our 360 hertz, which has gotten very ropey and high. Uh, let's look at the back and see what kind of heat transfer we had. Okay, now looking at the back, we've got our 20 hertz over here and you can really see how much heat transferred to the metal. 120 hertz, a lot less. 240 over here, even less. And by the time we get down to the end, 360, there's very little heat at all coming through. Well, I hope you learned something today. I know I sure did. Just like AC TIG, that seems to be the same. The lower the hertz, the more heat into the material, the wider the arc, and the higher the hertz, the narrower the arc, so it's more focused and less heat into the material, which really helps preventing burn through. Thanks for watching today. If you have questions or need help, go to our forum and connect with us, weld.com slash forum. If you want to check out exclusive content and member perks, join our channel and support the weld.com community. See you on the next one.